Hey, what's going on YouTube or Storm here coming at you guys with this video today. Today I wanted to talk about the whole, I was going to upload a video with um, Pendulum Magician Combos, which is, is in the process of being going to be uploaded tomorrow, but the whole DN YG Pro NAS situation tended to distract me and I felt like you guys would probably want to get a small opinion piece on the whole situation. So if you guys have been living under a rock for the past, you know, few few days you don't play on dn dueling network or other programs very regularly obviously a few months back dueling network was hit with the um cease and desist letter so they had to take down all the card images then later on um x steven you know great guy went and replaced the entire server with a card images and now the server dn dueling network is for the most part officially kaput um it's basically been completely shut down if you try to visit the website it gives a 404 server not found or it'll give you that message. However, the new development is YGO Pro has also been hit with the same cease and desist letter. You can no longer download YGO Pro from the application now. Does this mean YGO Pro is gone completely? No, uh, you can. if you currently have it downloaded on your platform of choice, it still works. The servers are still up for now. Um, now, will they stay up permanently? That That is that remains to be seen. But YGO Pro has always been that alternative for Mac users. You know, DevPro, I believe, isn't designed to work on Macs, if I'm not mistaken. And I really feel bad for Mac users, because that's like the one program they have that they can use. And the other programs are either aren't compatible or don't can't quite work. And that's really unfortunate for those people who are using Macs and don't have Windows like I do. Um, and it's really unfortunate, but I wanted to get to who this NAS group is. Um, if you don't know who they are, they are also known as Nihon Ad Services. They are a Japanese merchandising company that owns the right to Yu-Gi-Oh! and a lot of other merchandising groups. The main thing they are focused on is anime, more so than the card game. They don't have a really big impact on the card game themselves. They just own the rights to the images and the anime. That They've, they've been on a pretty big tear lately, not only... Are they shut down? DN, are they the cease? They've also took down many YouTube. I don't know if it's them in particular, but many YouTube videos with Arc Five music have been taken down. Namely, the Arc Five sound duels. If you guys have watched my streams, you know that is some the Arc the Arc Five sound duels are some of my favorite music to play on stream. Fortunately, they have been taken down. At some point in the future, though, I will upload the few Arc Five sound duels I still have saved locally for you guys, so you guys can still hear the music. If it gets taken down, it gets taken down. I'm not, you know, too picky, too particular about that. It is what it is. Um, but the main point, but the main thing is like back to NAS. Um, doing a quick Google search, doing a little bit of research because that's what I, you know, I feel like you don't want to talk about what a company is before you know. Um, I actually found a story where they actually sued four kids for unpaid royalties in the past from the art from the Yu-Gi-Oh anime. So it's not like it's out of the realm of, you know, normalcy for these guys to sue people and, and et cetera. Now, you might have to ask, we also have to ask ourselves, okay, why is this happening? Um, because why does this group suddenly care? That's a good question. You know, that's something that's not there that Nihon Ad Services probably has yet to answer is why they are doing this outside of just being jerks, you know, or insert, you know, word here. There's really... Because D Dueling Network and D and YGO Pro are free advertising. Now, yes, Konami and those groups don't make money off of this particular usage of Yu-Gi-Oh. However, it helps to move the product because a lot of players who who get interested in Yu-Gi-Oh go online and play on these programs and be like, huh, I might want to go see if I can build this deck. And then they spend money on the game. And that is good for everybody. This whole... DN and NAS debacle reeks of the Nintendo, and I'm making this kind of a comparison, where Nintendo basically seized all YouTubers' ad revenue. Be now, granted, they do have the right legally to do that, but is that really necessary? No, and that's going to take... The, what Nintendo and NAS, to an extent, don't get is that YouTube and, and Dueling Network, you know, it's a bit, you know, of an apple-oranges comparison, but you get my point. It is free advertising and that's how i see i don't really get why you know they have the need to do this to be completely honest but it 
you know, but that being said, you do have alternatives if you don't have YG Pro currently downloaded. Um, the three bet three alternatives you do have currently are Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, Dawn of a New Era, Dev Pro, of course, and YG Pro Salvation. Um, um, of the three, um, Dawn is okay. But the biggest problem I have with Dawn is they some of the services that they did have that weren't behind the paywall that kind of differentiated it from the other services um, are now currently behind a paywall. And the other thing is they badger you to donate to their server whenever you log in. And I find this to be annoying. It's very similar to playing a mobile game, trying to log into it, and then you get an advertisement the second you hop in. It's kind of like the same thing. I understand servers aren't cheap to have, but and they, but you don't need to badger the player base to donate. If someone wants to donate, they will donate. You don't need to badger people to do so. And Salvation, I've always, everyone knows, I've had videos on Salvation. I'm a big fan of the service at server. I have used it before and I really enjoy it. The biggest problem with Salvation, it was down for so long, people forgot it existed. And that's a good and bad thing. Good, It's a good thing because, you know, it's probably not quite on NASA's radar like DevPro will be, but nevertheless, it is an option. And the developers are pretty much second to none in terms of both fixing bugs, fixing bugs, and if you fixing bugs and uh, getting cards uploaded as soon as possible. If you report a bug more often than not, it will be fixed in, in a day or less. And that's one of the great things about the Devalvation developers. I've always been a big fan of them. And that's why. And of course, the number one alternative is DevPro. DevPro is the most popular um, automated program for good reason. It has the be best, by far, the easiest and simplest customization features. Um, it also has, you know, compared to Dawn of the New Era, the player base is a little bit better. Dawn's player base is really just terrible in a lot of ways. But DevPro's is slightly better, but it's not saying much. You are relying on, you know, playing with randoms, and typically that's going to not be so good. But in summary, um, I'm pretty disappointed about this whole situation with Dueling Network and DevPro, but it does not mean I will stop doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, I'm planning on, I already have a Skype Dueling group um, set up in the APS community, so it's not like, you know, and that is also a good alternative as well. So even if these programs do get taken down, guys, remember, if you have friends who Skype, you can always tool over Skype to get your playtesting in, and that's probably the one of the better methods anyways. So... Anyway, guys, always like thank you guys for watching my video today. I really appreciate it when you guys watch my videos. Tune on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. And if you like what you saw in this video, please subscribe. Support Storm. Signing out.